Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about frozen kingdoms. And today we're gonna to make an infographic about some polar animals and their amazing adaptations. So to start with, I'm gonna press the plus in the top left and I'm gonna to go to landscape. So I'm gonna start with the title page and then I'm gonna have three additional pages about different polar animals. Uh, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna to go to media, photos, and I'm just gonna search for Arctic because I want to have uh, the Arctic environment displayed as our background. This one looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't fill the page at the moment. So if I select the image by clicking on it, uh, there's a button here that says set as page background. So I can press that. Uh, I'm just gonna add uh, a few images now of some polar animals. So uh, for example, there's a polar bear here. So I'm gonna click on this one. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce the size and I'm also going to remove the background of this image. So I've selected the image by clicking on it and I'm gonna click the remove background button here. There we go, it's done a good job of removing the background and isolating this uh, subject here, this polar bear. Uh, I'm just gonna place the polar bear somewhere so it sort of looks like um, he's actually in the environment. So as you can see, you've got some other Arctic animals here. So I'm just gonna go through, uh, find a few more to populate my scene with. So here's an Arctic fox. Uh, just gonna click on the image and again, use the remove background tool. Great, just gonna reduce the size of that. Um, and I might just have him sort of uh, popping over the edge here, making him slightly smaller as if he's hunting for his prey. So I'm gonna populate the scene with a few more Arctic animals um, and then we'll see where we're at. So there we go, I've just populated my scene with a few Arctic animals. I've got the polar bear, Arctic fox, the Arctic hare, a puffin and a walrus. So I'm gonna add a title now uh, and my title is gonna be Frozen Kingdoms as this is the unit of work that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna press text on the left and press add your text. Uh, so I'm going to put it in the center there and I'm going to select the font. So I'm going to make sure the text is selected and I'm going to go to this drop down arrow. Uh, I'm going to choose a nice font. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Barber complete. Uh, it's a bit too large at the moment. So I'm just going to reduce the size by dragging one of the circles in the corner here and put it in the middle there. There we go. I'm um, just going to add a little subheading and this is going to be amazing adaptations. So I'm going to go to text, add your text. I'm just gonna make this slightly smaller, uh, put it underneath our main title. Uh, and I'm gonna put this in a different font so it's not the same uh, as the, the main title. So this one I'm quite a fan of, Time Machine. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so we've got our title, we've got our subheading, and we've got our animals in here. Um, what I am gonna actually add now is, um, it'd be nice to show the reader uh, where the Arctic is on the globe. So I'm just gonna to go to Wikimedia Commons uh, and I'm just gonna perform a search in the search box and I'm gonna go for Arctic. Here we go, this first image looks pretty good. Uh, it highlights the Arctic circle there, the Arctic area. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to copy image. So right click, copy image. And I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut, Control V uh, to paste it onto my work here. So I'm just gonna put it, uh, maybe the globe over here. It's got a nice dark background. It stands out quite nicely there. Just resize it slightly. So I think we're looking pretty good so far. This is a good title page. Uh, what you can probably notice though, at the moment is the, the title here. Uh, it doesn't really stand out. There's some sort of darker areas of the image which are making it hard to read the letters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a couple of little design assets or elements that are just gonna be quite light colored and help that, that title stand out. So I'm gonna to go to the left here and I'm gonna click on elements uh, and I'm gonna search in design assets. And I've done a bit of research already and I found some really interesting snow piles here, um, which, will, which will create the desired effect. So for example, if I choose this one, if I click this, uh, we can see it's kind of, um, it's kind of see-through snow. And what I can do is uh, sort of place it where the darker areas of the image are, um, is to place them there uh, and I'm actually gonna send it backwards. So I'm gonna go to my layers here on the side and I'm gonna drag this down so it's behind, uh, well, a lot of our elements really. So I'm gonna put it there. So now we can see this F, R and the O are really standing out, um, but it's a bit strong. So I might just reduce the opacity slightly. So I've selected this snow pile and I'm gonna go to the opacity slider and just reduce it a bit so it's a bit more subtle. Uh, what I might do is just duplicate it. So I've just pressed this duplicate button up here. Uh, and I can do the same for some other parts of the image. Again, I might duplicate another third one uh, and just put it at the end there. I might just do one more 
uh, for our amazing adaptations uh, subheading to make that stand out. So as you can see, it kind of creates this really like interesting icy frozen effect whilst at the same time making all of our design elements and our text stand out really nicely. So that's our title page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select three of the animals from my image and I'm going to do a bit of research. I might have done this ahead of time uh, about what adaptations uh, they've developed over thousands of years to survive in such a cold uh, frozen environment. So I want to add an additional page now. So I'm going to press add at the top and I'm going to press add a new page of the same size. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to go to media and I'm going to go search photos and I'm going to start with our polar bear um, and try and find an image that I like. So maybe this one. Again, it doesn't fill the page, so I'm just going to select the image by clicking on it and I'm going to press set as page background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I've done a bit of research, I found out four interesting adaptations uh, that Polar Bear has developed um, to survive and I'm going to display these on our, on our page here. So I'm going to go to text, add your text uh, and I'm going to start, I'm going to type in our first adaptation. So there we go, there's our first amazing adaptation. Uh, so a polar bear has white appearing fur to camouflage with the environment. Uh, they don't actually have white fur, their fur's not white, um, but it appears white. Um, and I might just think about maybe a different font to start with. So I'm gonna select the text, go to my fonts, um, and I quite like one called uh, Nanum Pen, which is a nice font that I use quite regularly. Uh, Nanum Pen regular, I think that looks nice. Just increase the size slightly. Uh, now it does stand out pretty good on the uh, the white snow. Uh, black text is going to stand out well on most of the images I use, um, but I might just want to add a little shape behind it. So I'm going to select the text here. I'm going to go down to shape, uh, and I'm actually going to make the shape fill uh, to a white color to fit in uh, with the theme. Uh, and then I'm just going to go down and select one of these uh, shapes. And I quite like this one. This sort of messy one. It sort of looked like it's, it looks like it's hand drawn a bit. Um, so there we go. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. I might just actually, if I go back to shape, I might just reduce the shape opacity slightly, just so it's not too punchy and white, just make it a little bit see-through. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add my three additional uh, adaptations that polar bears have developed. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. There's our four uh, polar bear adaptations. I'm just gonna add a little title. Uh, I'm just gonna add polar bear as our main title. Uh, and I think I'm gonna place it down here so it stands out nicely here. Uh, again, I'm gonna choose a nice font, so I'm gonna select the text and I'm going to go to my font list here. Here we go, this one looks pretty good. Now, I think we're looking pretty good, uh, but I'm gonna use the same idea. I'm actually gonna go to elements and I'm gonna search again for that snow pile and I'm gonna use one of the other elements this time. So I might go for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna click on it, just rotate it 90 degrees um, and I want it to be roughly the size of my title. Uh, I'm just gonna put it covering the title, then I'm gonna drag it down in my layers to underneath the title. And I'm just gonna reduce the opacity again. So I've selected this snow pile, just gonna reduce the opacity slightly. So it just has that kind of snowy effect, uh, just quite subtle really. You can play around with the sizing, uh, make it look kind of interesting. Uh, now, the last thing I wanna do is, um, I think it'd be interesting to add the scientific name um, of these animals underneath where it says the name of the animal. So I'm just gonna add that in now. There we go, that's our polar bear amazing adaptations. So now I'm gonna uh, add another page here. So I'm gonna add a page of the same size and now I'm gonna do one of my other animals. So there we go, I've added some amazing adaptations for the Arctic fox uh, and I've added some for the Arctic hare as well. So now we're done, we can download this. So I could download it as a PNG, this, just this page or all pages. I'm gonna select all pages. I'm uh, actually going to download a PDF, so I'm going to press download. And we can see it's downloaded to our machine there as a PDF, so we can open that. And there we go, that's looking pretty slick, like a non-fiction book. Uh, and also, if you want to share it, you can press share. You could share it to Google Classroom, uh, Microsoft Teams, or just press publish to web. Um, and it will create a link which you can share with whoever you like. So there you go, there's our Frozen Kingdom infographic uh, showing some amazing adaptations of polar animals. And now it's your turn to have a go at making your own one.